is great against the Skyrock Mage. Although that's oh, Oscar. Holy TNT though. Classic. Double wave. And since Cuckoo has stun, he's taking so much damage. He can't cost him. He's, he's down. They have uh, some dive potential too. Although Phoenix level 1 is not that great. Oh. Bye, Tims. Oh, can he get this one? Oh, Armel. Brought down solo he and he's going for the second kill. Oh he's got God. a mango and everything around to hit him. No, it's too dangerous. Oh, he just died in the <laughs> All right. Baits. And the baits. Tim's got some XP for it, I believe. Oh, big camp. Oh. Well, uh, Ninja Boogie yeah, is in a little bit of a problem. Oh, Owning mid. Yeah. I don't know. Also taking even more damage here. Abed may go down here. The Skyrath gets a nice little kill. And Armel, no more regen for him. Easy more jabs. Dude, Tim's is going to be a problem this game. Yep. <sighs> He's going to be a serious problem. He's got already not like the... Dyer's defensive utility. Yeah, he's, he's, he's actually Roman too, so he might be dead here though. Uh, does have regen rune also for Lena, so if she can just pummel regen him down, regen. pops the regen, immediately broken. <laughs> Meanwhile, Huskar ends up going down in the top lane. Ice 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 just TPs out. He used the retaliate. Oh, the last hits though. I mean, even just the experience, I guess, is pretty nice. And the Lich and the Skyrath is just so uh, unfortunate. He popped the Retaliate. He's bringing him down low. He needs to get one more. Double Edge comes through. They get the kill. Chase forward for more. Jaboogie. Mm -hmm. Right into the Lich. Okay. <laughs> well, they're going to pull him back he in here. Egg? Tries to get it. The lift up. Can they bring him down in time? The egg is still going to pop, but it looks like TNT might end up losing more. Gabby drops. Ninja Boogie dead from the Rage Creep. Oh, one more punch. No. Five HP. He gets away. Not bad. It's Rubik going for it. Oh, that was crazy. Rubik, Rubik wants to. Rubik, it's okay. Can't have my. He was trying to chase down that Lich. Not bad. Trying to run out of here. There's oh, no mana. Can't quite do it. For that Aether Lens, still just a little ways away from it. Looking for Armel. There's going to be oh, the Chrono, the but he got the Strength Form off. Great reaction time. DJ still moving into position. They're able to get that finish, but now where are they going to go to? The two person stun with the Mystic Flare on top of them. They try and stampede away, but it's still Abed dead. Great combination coming out. They steal the ice over as well, and now trying to bring down this egg. Can they do it in time, though? Tim's has to give up his life. They can't what burst hit? the egg, and Lich is going to die. And Abed giving him a little bit of the taste of the saltiness afterwards. Moving into position now with the Chrono. Oh, he might just die here. Happy center, looking for that opening. Burrow Strike, Mystic Flare right on top. Never stood a chance. I think the Lich only has a wand. That's his only item, like wand boots. Oh, and now they catch the Centaur as well. Oh. And they just find another core kill. Centaur just dies twice in a row. God, they're just baiting the hell out of this Roche. Oh, uh, DJ. Yeah. Trying to run out of there. Courier going through. They might get the Courier kill on top of everything else in the epicenter. Already been interrupted. Actually, no, not cast Sentry yet. Cuckoo's backing out. Sanking. Chrono onto Huskar alone. Not oh. nearly doing enough. And the egg is going to connect. Stun onto three. But Armel is back in the fray. They bring down two. Okay. Two for two so far. Center does have Stampede. And trying to get jabs out of there. Or maybe reinitiate a second time. They bring down the sky. Light Ooh, strike away from the low very ground. Very you feel like you're kind of a favorite. You can let a, let a few things like slide every now and then. Buyback from the Phoenix. They don't have the Centaur in this fight. They've already found one. This Rubik going to die. They hit the light strike away onto two. Armel going to blink away. Rather jump away as he switched over to the other form. The stun only hits onto one. And this Huskar is regening a heck of a lot. 90 HP regen per second. And Ice 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 in trouble. Phoenix can't afford to die here. They're going to turn onto the egg. He's just dead. He even placed that egg pretty far away from them. They're like, oh, I can't really egg in the middle. It's level one. It's not going to do all that much. But he doesn't get Fire Spirits out, and it's an easy egg pickoff. That's a dieback on Phoenix. They want to go fight for more. They know Void has no the, the Chrono, smoking chrono is so in four I seconds. Chrono is coming up, yeah. Cuckoo, they find him. They need to get the silence Silent. off. ASAP gets the silence. Going to run away. The Stampede came out as well. Gabby's still living. They're running off in the silence, looking for the big Chrono. But there isn't going to be any follow-up. And Armel able to walk away. Oh, yeah, maybe that maybe the Huskar, but I feel like the Huskar has to be Chrono, otherwise he's gonna kill everybody. We'll, we'll find out. He's about to get focused, maybe. Oh, but looking for the oh, opening. The MP stun. jumps forward, hits the Chrono onto three, but all the rest of his team is in there as well. It doesn't look like it might end up mattering. Armel trying to bring him down. Abed also in for their opening. They're just gonna stampede away. Need to run away, but Gabby also chasing that Ag Stampede, <laughs> just going over some cliffs. Oh, there's a double damage there. 
Oh, God, a stun? Such a good LSA oh, promo. Oh, good Sinister Gaze to interrupt the stun, but not for long enough. Can he live through this one? They're trying to do it. Gabby, he gets the disarm, the lift up, though, with the Yule Scepter into the immediate follow-up. Stun! Homie's done. Just maybe we spoke too soon with the Radiance. He got... He, he just I mean, blinking, that was blinking, an blinking item the, thing. Yeah, he, blinking to the double stun is the issue. I mean, that was the, the Lena cost range coming into play there, too. Like, being able to wow. throw that LSA from so far away. They kill Morphling now as well, secure themselves a massive lead. Skyrath in the late game has been so strong ever since they, he got that two Arcane Bolts. I get him some roll. MD. They have Chrono still and don't even need it. This is the <laughs> tricky thing. At least Lena's burst damage is... That's what I mean with like the new Huskar. Without the magic users, you really need you really need to be snowballing. Otherwise, he just you run out of HP. All right, so enter the free kill on the most front four. Oh, Huskar dead for another 50 seconds. Lift up by DJ Lightstrike Gray following at the stun, lasting forever onto Armel. But he also has 3,100 HP. Cuckoo walks into position. They going to be able to find any follow-up afterwards. The stun hits from Ice Ice Ice, but there's a follow-up silence, and now the Chain Frost bouncing around. The Supernova is still going. Nobody from TNC is focusing this egg, and it's going to hit, followed up by the Chrono. Beautiful play coming out from Fnatic, and can they bring down Gabby as well? He gets the disarm. Chasing forward for more, four staff forward by his team. And it looks like everybody else is going to get out. He just burst him. I think, didn't, yeah, Gabby bought back also. He did that earlier, though. Yeah, yeah. The fight. I think so. He died right at the start, right? Uh, Is he about to die again? Mm, That's that 100 works. seconds? No Huskar, and they know it. That was Jibogi, three heroes? They killing? steal it again. Push him back. You will have to lift up. This Rubik's living through it for the moment. Finds the kill on a Ninja Boogie and just saunters a wave. Cool as a cucumber. Tim's also in trouble. Another light strike array. He didn't have vision there. And Tim's going to be lifted, going to be caught. And Abed is truly feeling himself as well as DJ. How the retaliate stuff works. Oh, a stun though. And Huskar gonna go for the long life break, but still in trouble and he's just dead again. Didn't stand a chance. Armel trying to run another big stun and gonna be able to chase down Cuckoo who has left his own devices. Abed is actually super low though. Can they bring him down in time? Almost. But not quite everybody from Fnatic still living. And Abed going to hit the stun and walk away. Oh, my. GG. That, that Phoenix does such a good job of getting on top of Skyrath with the, with the egg. Like, he just drops the egg on the Skyrath, knowing that it's going to stop him casting spells. Uh, wow, it's a good timber game, too. That's a pretty good timber game. I don't see how they kill him ever. Uh, lane control. Tim's going to take a little bit of a pound in there. And, well, nice double today. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. That Very damage. Nice the K, Soul Rip, just play behind the tier one and yeah, even exactly. tank, tank exactly. tower shots at that point. Nice kill with the Lich Armor. Afterwards. Those, those tips are the, the high skill ones. Yeah. Like another one is like when you're a mid laner 1v1 and you're both like waiting to hit the range creep so that you can get the deny. The Timber typically wants to be taking the tier one tower at latest with the second siege creep at 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh-oh. Rotation coming in. Armel in some trouble. And with the rotation, they get the kill. And brought the boars for that. Curse sniping with Serpent Ones is, a, is definitely a thing. Oh, you, it was for a little while. Uh, oh, wow. wow. Oh, he oh. got the strength for Too greedy. Off. He went for the right click. Mm. I don't know if they get the kill anyway. So he's got very high armor, but... They turn around now, an MP Shackle and Tim's, and now a secondary chain Shackle frost. for DJ. Everybody <laughs> wants to hold his hand. That Chain Frost just owned with the Ninja Boogie coming in. They get the kill on the Undying, but they will feed the Serpent more golds. You've got so much vision. The traps with the Hawk just scouting things around, and like, how often has Initiation been the deciding factor in these games? Gabby possibly going to have to look for the split here. He tried to run away. Looks like it was a bit too greedy, though, as he is going to be punished, although he is going to be able to get it off after the fact. And now the Roar turning onto the Rubik, maybe in some trouble. Can they kill him off at the time? There's a Stampede to interrupt it a little bit. Running away, Abed trying to take down Cuckoo. They actually pushed him to the low ground, though. So he's still fine for the moment. MP living through it. Still, they bop back on the Rubik, and now Abed trying to run through everybody, but they take far too much damage, and Cuckoo... Didn't get the split this time. Rubik was winning. going for it. Now, there's going to be the Shrine used, and DJ likely to fall all of oh Fnatic. Oh, God, that's five for nothing. It's probably a little bit disappointing for him um, in their results. Yeah, they got... Did they get bottom four, or did they win the BO1? I can't... 
can't recall if they won. They, they versed the other SCA team in the BO1, right? It was yeah. them versus Fnatic. I think they beat Fnatic and then lost in the next round. Right. Fear pulls back in one. That's Timbersaw lifted in the air. He's going to hang out there for a moment or two and then going to get roared. And he has not moved from this spot for a little while. Roar. There's going to be the shackles. Timbersaw just going to chill as he eventually dies and jabs the next one to be turned upon as well. Looks like they're expending everything out there. MP able to walk away and eventually these buildings are going to fall. These frontline cores for TNC are just so hard to deal with. They're just all super tanky. The TA with Refraction, BKB, the Brewmaster, Beastmaster, just these kind of tanky bruises as well. There's Serpent Woods, there's Necrobooks. It's just all this junk everywhere that you just can't get through. They don't have enough damage at all to deal with this. This yeah. is like the ultimate place to fight though if you're a fanatic. In the Roche pit, but it's already gone. They, they just drop Roche like it's nothing. And TA traps Scott, Scott everything. The Hulk, right, you mentioned all the vision. Stampede. A oh. good jump in though, catching on to two, on to four, actually. And can they find any more? Abed in some trouble. They have Stampede already used, and no save is going to come out for Mr. Timbersaw. Tipped before he even goes down. Actually, Abed's living, okay. Surviving through it, at least the initial assault. And now with the decay, the double edge coming through as well. Can they kill him off in time? Well, no. Armel just turns it back around, and there's going to be the Aegis popping. As I say, Sice eventually pummeled to death by Gabby. Three are dead. You got to do that with, uh, you know, as soon as you pop that Bloodstone ulti or uh, ability, that's when you do it. You're like, oh, you forgot about this, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> because you're holding ult to see what the Bloodstone does, too. So just Definitely not uh, Ninja Boogie's finest moment. Um, went for a big play, but couldn't quite do it. They should probably just GG out right now, honestly. <laughs> yeah. TNT, just call it. It's 2-0. Yeah. But I'm excited. We got game three. This is hype. This is amazing. TNT bounce back. Not the... Oh, there's the tips. <laughs> the Ice 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 Ninja Boogie tips. They the did kill tip. off Cuckoo. Yeah, they, they, they're going out after Ice Ice Ice, hoping to tilt him before game three. This is this is clever plays. That is... I mean, they still I have mean, some tips available. They're going to get to game three first. Yeah, that's true. Fanatics say we're not done yet. They are down four racks, so... Yeah. All right. Here we go. When the Spear Festival comes up before the Lotus Orb, that's always when you have issues. Got themselves one, and speaking of Spirit Vessel, it's on the Timber Saw. Stampede away, still trying to live, but it's not going to be enough. Tim's is going to die. A Chain Frost doing a decent amount, but it's still a BKB on MP. And get both the supports, but I think that's the fight for Fnatic. You kill the supports, and now you're in trouble. Cuckoo's just trying to hit the Tombstone from the low ground, and well, looks like MP might end up getting ran down. They just have no answers to the TNC cores. You can kill these squishy supports, and if you get out, it's fine. That's actually well worth it, because Fnatic haven't lost any of their cores yet, but that changes. And I say so, it's just a second too late there. It's going to be lifted again, and Abed misses the chain. It is looking like this one is just about all she wrote. Well played by TNC, as they're going to take the first game that anybody has been able to off of Fnatic. Oh, it's such a good Meepo game. With All right, this, is a, this is a great I, way to yeah, have a game three. Excellent. SCA has like 50 different Meepo players. That is run true. Into. That is true. And, and A probably has like two or three. And you know? also in SCA, there's not going to be somebody on the enemy team feeding intentionally. <laughs> <Yeah>. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, oh, uh -oh. This is the first blood. What's going on there, He had buddy? the brain step up, but he got the got the lockdown. Just the, the right-click damage in general. Yeah. And with the low agi gain that he has yeah. now. Because he, he has max ransack, so he's looking to right-click rather than do poof damage. Yep. Crimson. Also yeah. good there. Hello, Tim has shackles, got him caught, Stampede comes out, and well, just like that, MP loses life as a killing spree for Cuckoo. Another invis rune did get spotted there by the center kill the Santi mage. Uh, they do have one point in net, going to catch him there as well. The swap over, Where's trying to the kill him. Meepo at? They're going to bring him Co in now, cooldown, and maybe? there it is oh, going to be the catch. Is... Also going to be able to find Ooh. the kill. They almost didn't have enough damage. Position to try and get Gabby here. They're bringing everybody. And with a uh, Ninja Boogie nearby, he might be able to keep him alive, possibly. He throws out the Chain Frost, going to bounce back and forth, and just like that, Gabby's out. And actually, Fnatic might end up losing a couple of their heroes here. They are not careful. Nice. nice. Mana Void without committing oh, and gets away from Meepo. That was very high skill from Gabby as well. No Stampede, no Chain Frost. Oh, eight okay, seconds. Eight seconds. This could be a big moment for them. They drop down the wards into the pit, stealing it away, though. Wards. They're going to be able to turn it back with DJ there as well. Shadow Shaman, is he going to end up going down there? Yes, indeed. Lift up now onto the Centaur I mean, also. Meepo's already away. They're fine with this. 
around. It looks like they're going to drop the wards around Cuckoo, try to bring him down. Gabby popping that counter spell, but needs to escape because this has gone terribly awry for TNC. Oh, yeah, six is that healthy duration. Here it is once again, and they're going to turn this around. He should be dead. Doesn't last hit with the Matterhorn. On the other side, Cuckoo, Stampede, run away, living. He may get chased down here. Oh, the Jukes. Jukin, Meepo. Juke Jukes. Not chasing with a blink. Chain Frost going uh, out. Oh, kills off oh, the Meepo. That's an Aegis, but that's definitely worth just breaking an Aegis. And Centaur lives. Just like that. Missing Nets. Gonna try and pull one back in. Armel in position. Although they get the lift up and immediately gonna walk away. I say the say. <laughs> they do still have blink. Stomp. You're gonna hit it onto two. Not bad. Armel trying to bring down this Brewmaster, but he still lives through it. They drop down the wards on a Ninja Boogie, and afterwards they can hit the tower. Oh, the tower with kills Ice well. I'm surprised T didn't finish him. I think T oh assumed Brew had ulti. That's why he didn't uh -oh. want to go for it. Yeah, Abed's there, and he is mad. Oh, oh, oh the turn around possibly can they kill off the Meepo Abed? Oh. He walks away again, and they've got the life steal coming out from the ransack. Cuckoo needs to find himself another stun. Three seconds away, it's not going to save him. I don't believe. As well, yeah, okay, they just scare walk him off. Yeah, he <laughs> actually scared him off. I think he just bait the stun. Oh. Can't. Cancels the Bane and should be a kill. AM's nearby. I think AM's going to try to come get this last hit. Yeah, he'd love to be able to get <laughs> the solo kill. Yeah, he gives him the solo kill and everything. <laughs> that is actually really nice. He's an abomination. That heroes. Need like a Monkey King bar to deal with the... Uh-oh. Oh, God, he blinked in. No counter spell. He does get the counter spell. Rooted. Stomp possibly coming. They have the Chain Frost going as well. It was a great nightmare to interrupt the initial stomp. Amiibo might still die. He's done. And now MP also trying to bring down Cuckoo. So as we said, Meepo dealt with, but now the real fun begins as they get the lift up onto one. MP going to town, finding Armel. He is dead Armor, as well. And that is looking like it is a big old win for Fnatic. Yeah, MP's online. <laughs> He's got the Deso, and because they focus everything on Meepo, <laughs> exactly he has a free team fight. There's so much he can do. Baiting the Panda. The baiting the Panda. They jump in. Guess who's here? Mr. Jabs. Nightmare. Fine. Fiend's grip. Now in trouble. They got the shackles. Can they kill him off in time? They end up breaking it right oh there. He gets god. the grip off. Oh god, he's able to jump away. And now Abed gonna go to town onto Armel. He is done. A hoof stomp. It's not enough to save this fight, which has gone terribly awry for TNC. Good lord, what a bait. Right? And uh, it doesn't really work as much when they have the BKBs, I guess, because they can just wake him up and hit him. Oh, Meepo! He's on top of him! One bad nice. blink is all it takes. Inspiring. So it's... As long as the Lich is alive, too, this is such a hard... Yeah. And the AM Power buyback. If they, if they buy back AM while Meepo's Aegis goes down, it's super high risk. All right, I, 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 gr <laughs> I prefer that yeah. greatly. This is, this is how you do it. And you send in the Cyclone. Okay, a four staff keeping them alive. Buy back on the AM right at the start as well. Fnatic, they're in pretty deep right now. If they're going to go in, they need to fully commit. It's already a lift up onto the Shaman, and it looks like they're going to lose Gabby again. Back. All good tips. DJ. Die back, Ooh. and that might just do it as they're going to chase forward for more. Armel pops the BKB, tries to run. It's a good stun, but it's not looking like it's quite enough. They're going to the fountain. What are they doing? They gaze in GJ, and he's going to be pulled back. Tier 3 tower is still standing. They buy back on the Centaur. Aegis, Aegis expires. Down, yeah, yeah. But it is no anti-mage. And... No, I think those super deep dives are good because if they if they slow siege it, TNC just wait till Aegis is expiring. You've got to like basically commit your life and say, kill me and get rid of this Aegis. Oh, yeah, I agree. But, you know, the fountain is... Uh, fountain's just <laughs> a good way to get rid of your Aegis. A little bit <laughs> more split. Cuckoo, he's done oh, as well. Nice no played. buyback. Fnatic, who have looked so dominant throughout these qualifiers, are looking to do it again as they just are running over TNC here towards the end. Armel hoping to do whatever he can, but MP jumps in, and he's gone in a second. Nice. They just found the way to, to break high ground. Send in the Bruce Cyclone Panda, and he gets vision. All they needed was the vision, and then Meepo finds a jump, is able to go in, and there we go. Fnatic are going to the CQ Major. I think the problem is also that the Anti-Mage, just by his tower, and then the rest of his team is standing in the fountain, getting zoned by the Bruce.